Welcome back to Gear Check Games. This is episode 11 of our Pokemon Gold for the Game Boy Color playthrough. Last time, uh, we took on Morty. Uh, we had to thunder punch him and slowly go through a endless cycle of sleeping and waking. It was a nightmare, honestly. Uh, and then yeah. we tested See our metal against... <laughs> it's Wait, not a nightmare. He, nightmare. Nightmare. he uses Dream Eater. God damn it. <laughs> True. I mean, close enough. Really, if you're not uh, having right, a nightmare, time. you're not time fighting take Morty. Two. <laughs> we screwed up the joke. Yeah. Start off. <laughs> Too cut, late. I gotta, cut, cut, cut. I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta see a man about I'm a ring. I'm glad you got it. I'm glad you got it. <laughs> yes. Uh, so this, we also, uh, I didn't, I, I don't know if we mentioned it. We also took on the uh, Kimono Girls. Who are conveniently located all in one place. You do not have to search all over Jota for them in this one. Yeah. Um, and we got Surf from the old man who was very impressed with our battling style. Who wasn't there at all to watch the Kimono Girls. He just wanted to see battles. He wanted to watch strong trainers. Just like that guy mm -hmm. outside the Celadon gym. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He respects the Pokemon battles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so That's this... a true... That's a that's what a that's a true man right there. Yes, yeah, he's a, he he does have the model of the gentleman trainer class, so it makes sense. Uh, so this this go around, uh, we're going on a little side trek. We have to recruit a very very dependable member of our squad. Oh yeah, uh, who will take us all the way? Me. All right, let's God, go. We just, but we just added Taurus in like like two episodes ago. Uh, Tor Toros is cool, but uh, we need we need something bigger, badder. Like Mary, yeah! two fingers. <laughs> another one <laughs> bigger, Murray. <laughs> <laughs> the big sheep. All right, you guys are ready to shiny hunt for twelve hours. Oh, good lord! <laughs> it's Mega Reap. <laughs> yes, uh, I will say Mary shiny. Oh, no. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? <laughs> excuse so excuse me, sir. If I could <laughs> just if I could just <laughs> squeeze past you. So he's just standing there, he just like minds his own business, you come by and he just reaches out and grabs the front tire of your bike. <laughs> you have like a little anime moment where you're like Ugh, Ugh, I can't move. <laughs> he's got like mind powers. Uh. The last time I, you came through here, you were nothing but a rookie. Now who's the master? It's the last time I underestimate youngster Joey. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're fighting Ralph again. I, I did this to show off the the mechanic of uh, of the callback battles. Mm -hmm. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Because like this guy was like level like t t t nine last time we fought him, so like they do increase in level, so they are a greater challenge the second time that you fight him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like that idea on paper. Um, I don't know that mm -hmm. this game or any Pokemon game really has taken it far enough that I can think of. Because whenever they do something like this, it seems like it's only like a very select um, number of trainers that you're able to rebattle, and I can't help but wonder why that yeah. is, unless they're really just trying to like limit the amount of experience you can gain like at certain points of the game. Because you wouldn't think it would be hard to just tell the game like, okay, just here are the Pokemon that this trainer has when you have like this number of badges. You know, like you yeah. wouldn't have to do that with like every single trainer in the game, but like, I don't know. It it, it just seems like it, even with like the callbacks, it's hard. It's hard to like find enough trainers to like grind for experience if you're underleveled. Yeah. I think that's why Gen Two is especially tough to team build with, because you you once you start making choices, like <laughs> you gotta stay locked into that shit. Cause, like, God. <laughs> Just turn into a weird like seal for a minute. <laughs> that's like that's like that's like waking up on Christmas morning and unwrapping new socks. You go back all excited to explore with your new HM, and it's like, oh, mm -hmm. this is just a tiny puddle. And I couldn't see I've the other the, side I've because got, Game Boy. <laughs> I got to the point where like if I get socks for Christmas, I'm like, you know what, I'm fine with this. Oh Here yeah, I, I could always use new socks. Donate to my Patreon to buy me new socks. Oh my god. Oh, so this trainer, this guy is a secret mini boss. He's not easy for me. Oh, this is the dude with the Kangaskhan, isn't it? <laughs> this guy's about to whoop our ass. Oh, and the. Oh, does he have a Marowak and a Kangaskhan? 
I think so. Oh my. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. PTSD, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting and it. I, the horrible I don't memories have a water are flooding back. Or a grass type. <laughs> so we're in the tunnel. If if you if you don't know where we're going, we're going. We're underneath uh, Union Cave. Uh, because in game it's Friday, and I decided I need a water type. Mm -hmm. Ah, I gotcha. Very nice. Um, only, only a real man of class will go for the Lapras. Hey, it's always room for. Hey, it's always room for fun. It's Friday night. <laughs> Friday night, the new Taco Tuesday. I enjoyed your rhyme, Trey. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, on, on the subject of this character or this trainer being tougher than a lot of the others. I kind of like the idea of just having, like, varying difficulty among the trainers in the game. Oh, yeah. And, and like, not necessarily signaling that to you. Because, like, yeah, just... I, I feel like part of what takes the wind out of the sails of a lot of gym leaders is just the fact that they're... You, you always know that, like, every gym leader is going to be in a gym... And you're always going to have a chance to heal before, like after you fight all the trainers, so you can go in with like full health and everything. So that like you can never really be caught off guard by a difficult battle unless it's like a rival or something. Yeah. So I'm glad you said that because uh, this is one thing I will I will always be the uh, the champion of Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu because they have trainers like that that are added into the game that weren't there in the original cuts of red, blue, and yellow, mm -hmm. who are like, they're, they're the, this guy's uh, class, they're cool trainers. Unfortunately, instead of just like automatically looking at you, they'll ask you, hey, do you want to fight? Because this isn't going to be easy. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, that's, you talk to, to them me, that's you what, fight um, an Organization 13 member. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah, that, we've got absent silhouettes now, and, uh, <laughs> oh, God, spare me. <laughs> Remember this name, uh, Cool Trainer Mike. Got it memorized. Well, no, we were on the Game Boy tray. It would be commit it to memory, because that's what he okay. said originally. <laughs> yeah. I'm a nerd. Commit it to memory. In case oh, you yeah. were wondering. Duck, Ducks is trying his best out there. Ducks but, is but I guess basically what I'm getting at is like, and and I know that with like the modern design philosophy of Pokemon, they would never do this. But I feel you know it it is important to like test people sometimes and like make sure you're you know you're not just like mashing a through the whole yeah. game like you got to play carefully you got to be ready for a difficulty spike um yeah and I, and I feel like this guy located in a completely optional side dungeon mm -hmm. is good it's like hey you want this challenge you're gonna earn it yeah so like you if saying, you come you in here like you're looking for trouble so you, you bet you yeah. gotta be are you saying well, you gotta uh, be looking for those cure checks yeah. Uh, well, no, I was gonna, me, I was gonna say, me. and um, par pardon, pardon the pun, but uh, you you need to be prepared. If you go looking for trouble, you need to be prepared for trouble. Yeah. That would Make have been much more impactful if I had said it when I intended to, but you know, commentaries and all that, we interrupt each other. You know, while we're on the subject, you know, when uh, let's go, guys, Pikachu, guys let's just go let's Eevee. be left alone. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, came boy. to this cave for one reason. <laughs> Oh god! It's the derp music. This is the walk of shame. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember the name of this track. Um, I don't like think it had Mario music. Uh, it actually doesn't have an official name. It's just like M oh, yeah. M thirty seven or whatever. Oh well, yeah, did they do the same thing the the One Piece music did and not name any other tracks? Well, the One Piece music, like they at least had like a name for like the. The track that had a bunch of tracks on it. Oh god, I forget if I've talked about this on the commentary. I bought a bunch of One Piece CDs recently. A lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, and there's another one on the way. <laughs> but like, <laughs> Joe, you have a problem. I, uh, this is the last one I'll have to get before like. Th once I have this one, I will be current with the amount of the anime that we've thus far watched. Okay. It's like the. Okay, you're buying them in I order. I could stop yeah. anytime. Yeah, I'm not buying music I haven't heard yet. You're gonna. Oh yeah, you don't want you don't want um, things to be spoiled like uh, the what was it the Matrix Three? Oh my soundtrack. god, they start using flutes. Mm. <laughs> or oh yeah, the Phantom Menace soundtrack, which again, pardon the spoiler, but like one of the tracks it's is just called Qui Gon's Noble End. Mm. Yeah. 
And the soundtrack came out like two weeks before the movie premiered. Yeah. Wow. They, they spoiled a uh, big spoiler alert here. I'm going to flash it on the screen later on. Uh, <laughs> they did the same thing with The Matrix 3 where there's literally a track called Trinity's Death or something. Nice. Or Trinity's Sacrifice. Good lord. You know what? Mm. I actually like that Polyworld sprite. That's a that's a good sprite. He's a good boy. You know, I just... You say this. Uh, in my most recent uh, 501st uh, Soul Silver playthrough, I just used a Polyworld, and I, don't, I honestly gotta say, this is a better sprite. It, it, it looks very much like uh, like Sugimori's original like promotional art for the Pokemon games, where yeah. it was like very watercolory and like he would play a lot with like leaving areas of the drawing just like completely white. Um, yeah, he looks very that, soft. So. Yeah, a very soft image. And how soft is your how soft is your poly world? I wouldn't know. I don't I, uh, don't have one. I brush him every day. He's very soft. Oh, for a second, I thought her name was Emna. Um, Emna. E E. M Emna Shum. <laughs> What's wrong with E E? <laughs> She's in a dungeon. What was I gonna say? When are we gonna play Metal Gear Solid Two? I want to be on on that ride. <laughs> Eventually. Whenever Dan it, wants to been... record it. Has it has it been a year since uh, MGS One? I think it has. Probably by the time this this goes. Well, yeah, I think as of the time we're recording this, uh, we are past the point last year where we would have started uploading uh, Twin Snakes. Hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yes, Dan, get this is now's the time. <laughs> I've seen it double, four laps. <laughs> and I promise we'll get to Wonderful what? 101 eventually. It's it's <laughs> Lapras Red and Lapras Blue. I'm seeing double, yeah. four Laprases. You see, when you stack, when you stack a... Uh, Pokemon Gold cartridge on top of a uh, Sonic and Knuckles cartridge, you get Red Lapras and Blue Lapras. <laughs> Cue the that's my best chicken joke. I'll be here all night. So, so I, there's actually a cool fact with Sonic Three and Knuckles with the with the lock on technology. Or if you put it Sonic Two, and then when you get to Chemical Plant Act Two, as soon as you get there, you take the cartridge out, the game stops working. Cool. Damn. You really blew my mind tonight, Ethan. <laughs> Tonight on Did You Know Gaming. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna do the thing you did when we were do uh, during the credits of our S3 and K commentary, where you're like, if you plug uh, Batman Forever into the into the Sonic <laughs> Knuckles cartridge, it's still a bad game. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. God. Good times. I forgot. Shameless plug. Watch that finale. It's a banger. It's one of my one of my finest accomplishments with the channel, if I do say so <laughs> myself. Uh, so Lapras is not going to be an easy catch because uh, as far as water types go, she's very bulky and has a very high HP stat. I'm so sorry. I have to be annoying the crap out of somebody for like not focusing on the game. Um, but yeah, you're right. Uh, Lapras is... It's a very tanky Pokemon. Um, oh, yeah. And as it tends to go with Pokemon with that kind of stat spread, it's also fairly slow. It's an ice type, yeah. which is nice. But... Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I I've kind of discovered over my over the years. Shoot. I like my ice types to be a little faster, yeah. um, or at least my so ice they can move deal with users. a specific Pokemon. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How did you guess, we've, Dan? We've surely talked about that that incident on on this channel before. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I don't the think we, we we haven't had Dylan on the show yet um, to oh, yeah. to gloat about how he the incident known as me. Garchomp in general. <laughs> Yeah, he just 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 bodied me when we battled each Got other him. in Diamond yeah. and Pearl. Yeah. God. Yeah. Well, well, one day we'll have to we'll have to have him. We'll, we'll just need to have a symposium about Ubers on on this channel. Uh -huh. Just like a two hour discussion about which Ubers are the best and why Garchomp should just be excluded from ev fucking everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How and how I love how I love how I learned to stop worrying and love the Chomp. <laughs> Somebody get him a saddle. Don't dump the chomp. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I didn't uh, nickname Lapras. Hey, you gotta think you of a good if one. It's because there's, there's only one Lapras, so it's like, it's the Lapras. Yeah. It's the I mean, you can breed Lapras. it, can't you? Oh, yeah, and you can actually come back every... Fun fact, you can come back every Friday and catch another. I that I did not know. That's cool. Yes. 
I guess I just assumed it was like all other like stationary Pokemon in the overworld where they don't respawn. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like Pseudo Wudo, which makes me real sad. So I'm like, Pseudo Wudo, you you just are a legendary. That, You're a legendary in my heart. That is a blunder, because it's like they already had that pro if that's true about Lapras, like they already had it programmed into the game for one Pokemon. Why don't yeah. they have another pseudo Wudo respawn? It wouldn't be an inconvenience. Like you either yeah. catch it or you defeat it or you fly around yeah. it. Like, or, I don't or know. even have like pseudo Wudo <laughs> just appear, you know, to the side of that little intersection. Yeah, where you encounter him, just like he'll be here now. Just he won't block the road anymore. You taught him his lesson. <laughs> I, I might be conflating this with something else, but I feel like that was one of the things that they tweaked in that. Um, Oh, what was that Pokemon Crystal mod that, like, made it, like, open world? Like, you can do the gyms in any order you like. Um, yeah, I've heard, I've heard of that. I think one of the one of the changes was that Pseudowoodo, like, reappears, like, every day. And it's nice. not, like, an obstacle anymore. That'd be a fun thing to stream, just to see all the, the quality improvements they made. It was pretty good. I had I had a good time playing it. It's 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 really nice to have a Pokemon game where they just, like, take away all of the, like, pointless limitations. Like, oh, there are certain moves that Pokemon can only learn from events. <laughs> it's like, oh, we could have that. Or we could just have a nice guy in, like, the department store who's like, hey, give me money and I'll teach your Pokemon this cool move. <laughs> <laughs> now, every Dratini can have extreme speed. Oh. All of them. Oh, a... Is that when you take your extreme... Dad, dang it. Is that when you take your speed to the extreme? Dream. <laughs> Pretty much. That's when you put a jet engine on your Dragonite and just go, go, have fun. Well, then it's just a Garchomp. Uh, I like to put, I like to put like, little, like, bottle rockets on my, uh, Snubble, it's, so... We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't encourage uh, Pokemon abuse. Yeah, Ethan, channel. I was going to say that. I'm pretty sure that's animal abuse. <laughs> your your no, snubble is nasty. We not, need no, to get Flood in here to tell us to treat our pets uh, properly. <laughs> that would be the second time in the Pokemon canon that a snubble has just been like brutally exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that happened in the the Pikachu short, didn't it? No, that happened in the twenty first movie. Remember the old lady? Wait, what? <laughs> I, you know what? It's been it's been a hot minute. It's been about a year since I've seen that movie. That was like, that was like her 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 tragic backstory, man. Her snubble got the snubble blown blew up. up in a nuclear reactor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, Dan don't, Dan's don't... got my back here. Dan can confirm I'm not hallucinating. Don't worry, guys. We replaced it with zero ra ra ra. That's uh, that that's your incentive to go and watch uh, the power of us is uh, it's there's a snubble that gets exploded. Yeah. It's not yes. funny. It's 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 pretty poignant, but yeah, I, I can't. Come on, for Trey, context, watch believe, that movie. I can't believe you would forget the the church snubble incident. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dan, you're fired. The, the only thing I can <laughs> rightly remember from that movie is Zerora being being emo, and then and then the best boy Pseudo Wudo that made me fall in love all over again. All I can remember is, uh, well, okay, I can't remember who commented this when we watched it, but like how the whole end of that movie is like, well, we finally have learned how to like live with peace with like the Pokemon and with nature. So let's celebrate with a big, like, lantern festival, like, now that we've put out the forest fire. <laughs> Not, you know, taking into account what? that, la like, lantern festivals are, like, one of the biggest, like, like, they're they're commonly associated with, like, causing forest fires. Yeah. Don't worry, guys, the Squirtle Squad will clean up the mess. So Zoroark just sheds a single tear. Like, no, not again. <laughs> it's like, it's like, hey, you just, you just recovered from a heart attack. Let's celebrate by going to McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to an EDM concert. Hell yeah. Oh, good. So we picked up stuff. another good boy. Um, we picked up two team members that are going to be permanent stays on the team today. Evie. Yeah, and it's it's up to you guys to guess which evolution we're gonna get. Cause as of right now, nobody knows. Well, it ain't it, it ain't it ain't gonna be Vaporeon. It can't. So it can't be in the in the first portion of the game. It can't be the OG trilogy uh, triumvirate of evolutions. Oh yeah, you're. Oh yeah, because we'll as we've established, Gen Two doesn't want you to have anything nice. 
Mm. Yes. No stones. Until you earn it with your blood and sweat. I I think the only stones you can get in the the first campaign is a sunstone. Uh, And a moonstone, I think. There's one in uh, Tojo Falls. That's true. Maybe one elsewhere. Which makes it all the more frustrating to me why they decided to have Eevee's new evolved forms uh, obtainable in the way that they are. Because you would think, like, okay, they added the Sunstone, and they have a Psychic-type evolution and a Dark-type. So why not just have them evolve like the other three with stones? But no, instead it's gotta be the stupid, grindy friendship mechanic. Well, you see, the, the Dawn Stone and the Alan, Dust Alan. Stone are reserved for Togekiss and Honchcrow in Gen 4. Didn't you know? I'm not talking about those stones, Trey. I'm talking about Gen 2. (laughs) Wise guy. You know, with all this talk this episode about, like, stuff that you can't get until the end of the game, and, like, uh, it's like a hassle to get experience without, like, fighting trainers, but, like, you can only fight them once, except for in some case, like, some less common cases. Mm -hmm. And, like, I've... Given how Pokemon is set up, I feel like it's a game that definitely encourages you to just, like, stick with one character and build up your team. Oh, with yeah, one character definitely. Could keep, and, like, keep playing on that file. So, mm-hmm. like... Why, why hasn't Pokemon ever done, like, a New Game Plus? Where, like, you just keep your Pokemon, and then you go through, like, a harder... A bit, just, like, the campaign again, but, like, Pokemon at higher levels... Well- or like you just, or you just like, it's an opportunity to like use new Pokemon in another playthrough without losing all your yeah. old old Pokemon that you poured all that time into. Right. Like it, it seems well, like mean, there's kind of a conflict between like you can only play through Pokemon once, but like you, you there's all these things that like make it like you really want to keep using the same file. But, like, so many other things are set up to make that not really feasible. I mean, they could do, like, an Animal Crossing thing where you have, like, multiple profiles, but, like, certain actions you take in the overworld will, like, affect all of the... Like, say there's, like, legendary Pokemon and, like, you catch them on your initial file, they won't be there when you play through the game again. Like, if the... But, but like, your PC is, like, shared across files... But, you know, you also have, like, the badge system, which, instead of just dictating, like, traded Pokemon's obedience, like, applies to all Pokemon. So, like, you can't just, like, start a new game and use, like, all of your, like, most powerful Pokemon from a different file. I don't know. I'm kind of making this up as I go, but, like... But you you forgot Pokemon White 2, not only it doesn't have New Game Plus, it has New Game (laughs) Minus. To have an easy mode being (laughs) unlocked by beating the game. Uh, let, me, let me tell you a secret about how you unlock both easy mode and hard mode. That might get. That might be my vote for the worst like difficulty implementation in I any know. video game. I, because not only uh, do you have to beat the game on its normal difficulty in order to unlock both hard and easy mode, but until you link up, each <laughs> respective mode is version exclusive. <sighs> Yeah, and to get that mode on the other game, you have to have two games that are complete. Yeah. And then trade it to the other file. And then you have to start a new game. It is nonsense. So so if you want to start a new game and be able to save, you have to delete your old file, have someone transfer you the new mode, and then you can play the, on the new the mode that you don't actually own like like yeah. if you if you needed any further evidence that somebody with like executive power at game freak and or the pokemon company is just like straight up insane <laughs> there you go God. yeah you you brought up earlier Hi, like buddy. oh yeah if we did a new game plus then like the people might just like use their strongest pokemon to steamroll the game again which like i personally just feel like they already beat the game. If they want to do that, then like yeah, let them. <laughs> they earned it. It's like it's like supersonic. If you can get those chaos emeralds, like who cares if you can cheese the yeah. game? But it's like, hard enough at to the just same get time, them. this is Nintendo we're talking about, who is pretty much like the like turbo like Fever. you can't play the game the way we in in the way that we don't want you to play 
So, like, you know they would never do that. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, this moment... Uh, Pretty depressing to be a mom- Nintendo fan sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, this this moment is one of my favorite moments in the manga. Um, where Gold and Silver... They're, they're chasing the, the, the masked man who's the villain of the Gold Silver art. Mm. Uh, and they they ca- they corner him in the um, the burn tower because he's 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 following them they're following him it's like a cat and mouse game uh, it's where like one of those Scooby Doo obviously... chase scenes yeah basically <laughs> and then like the burn tower is like already kind of dilapidated and it collapses even further <laughs> so like the masked man disappears after the battle and gold and silver are, like break out of the wreckage. And Silver's like, yo, man, just every time we encounter this guy, you fuck something up, don't... Oh, yeah, there's the F-bump. Um, <laughs> Second one this episode. Yeah. <laughs> You're on a roll, you Luke, my just, dude. <laughs> just, just, Silver's like, stop following me. And Gold's like, okay, I'll agree to stop following you if I, if you can beat me in a duel. And they just, like, duke it out at the bottom of this tower. And, like, it's, it's kind of been, like, fought to a draw. Silver pulls out the most... BS move, and I wish I wish I could I wish I could even like encapsulate how BS it is. He draws out his last Pokemon. He's like, I'm down to one last guy. He has a Tyranitar <laughs> that Lance has let him borrow oh in his quest God. to hunt down the masked man. Wow. And Gold's like, How is this fair? How is this even fair? That jerk was using New Game Plus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang it. I guess I guess you gotta befriend a champion in order to get access to those kind of perks. Yeah. Also, Trey, when you said they just straight up duke oh, it out, no. I didn't I, I did not realize that like Pokemon <laughs> battling was implied. And I was just imagining these two children just like punching the crap out of each other. It's like MGS4. Well, I forgot <laughs> like, all about this. <laughs> Just like shirtless gold and silver, like, like duking it out. Gold, look what! <laughs> silver. God, and he gives him a little kiss. What? And gold just has like a gray mustache. <laughs> yes, it's all wrinkly and old. Well, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, I guess they both this is this is a complete non sequitur, but I guess that's just where we are in our lives right yeah. now. Um, one of my one of my favorite meme images is and Trey, if you can put this in the video, I would be forever grateful. But it's just like that frame from like Looney Tunes, where it's like an elderly Elmer Fudd holding like an elderly Bugs Bunny in his arms, like as he's like dying or something, and it just has the Metal Gear Solid Four logo. Like, <laughs> oh, I've seen this. That's a beautiful image. <laughs> Oh I, god. I would love or, if there was a version of a Pokemon manga that just like it 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 just uses all these like ridiculous game situations but like in an actual like manga scenario where like oh, oh yeah. gold cha- gold chased the masked man to the burned tower and they like that the masked man sent out his haunter and Gold just throws out a Lapras that just, like, fills up the whole room and starts spewing <laughs> water and flooding the place. Yeah. yeah. He sends out a freaking whale. Burn Tower, where? It's <laughs> under the whale. Yeah, I guess in the anime and the manga, like, they just don't use certain Pokemon, like, when they're out of their element, <laughs> like... Pretty pretty early on in the original series, Misty sends out her Goldeen just as like a distraction because it can't really do anything when it's not uh, in the water. Yeah, I like the Pokemon Coliseum and stuff. That it's just like, yeah, we're just gonna have water Pokemon swimming in the air. Just, oh yeah, just, just, just don't give a crap. Stadium style, <laughs> baby. I'm honestly surprised they never like, and I don't know if we've mentioned this in an old episode or not. So I've had this idea for a while in my mind. Like, whenever someone would send out, like, a water Pokemon, like, there would be, like, a special Pokeball you would keep water Pokemon in. So there would just be, like, a bubble of water around them at all times so they wouldn't suffocate so you could battle with them. Oh. That's, that, that's, that's, my, that's my kid brain logic. That, make, that makes sense. Assu- assuming that, like, that you subscribe to the, like, the, oh, the, the Pokeball, like, transports them to, like, an actual, like, environment and they're not just, like... Yeah. In, like, an energy form when they're inside the ball. <laughs> I can't just... remember if there's, like, a canon explanation for this or not, but maybe we can 
talk about something else the Pokeball in the next episode. opens and it's just like bleh, water out of it and like a magic yeah. truck flops out onto the ground in a puddle <laughs> sorry for the mess <laughs> oops uh, speaking of messes uh, we gotta we gotta <laughs> delve into this mini dungeon we'll see you next time bye bye next time